All right, budget magic time, playing some green, white, sacrifice in standard. And we only have two lands, but we have double primal druid, which is reasonable. Mountain, go for our opponent. Well, canopy vista, pass the turn. One more land to sack a primal druid to get a land to kill something would actually be pretty helpful. Foundry of the consoles. And a hanger back, X1. All right, well, let's run a primal druid out there. Pass the turn. One more land. Come on, one more land. What is our opponent playing? Is this like mono red Eldrazi? Would be my guess. Come on, land. All right, well, another primal druid. Pass the turn. Now we can even, <laughs> if we draw land, we can Eldritch Evolution a primal druid, which would be even better. Another land for our opponent. Is this when the Eldrazi start coming? Could be a Thought Not Seer here. Opponent, incendiary flows are face. Sure. Come on, land. Please. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, more primal druids. <laughs> oh, that's not a land, though. They get us lands. If they ever die, we go from two lands to, like, a million lands. Please attack. You know you want to. Come on. Come on, anger back. Get swifty. Aww. Oh, I guess it was ambitious to hope for that. Land? Oh, well, theoretically, it's a land. <laughs> it enters tap, but it is a land. Pass the turn. Hanger back. Keeps getting bigger. All right. They kill one of our primal druids, so we do get another land. That's good. Mountain for our opponent. If this is Chandra, that's not very good. It is Chandra. Makes some elementals. Well, now we gotta figure out how to beat a Chandra. So we get to block, hanger back, block, block. Puts us to six lands. What are we going to do this coming turn? Let's just block one. We go to five lands. That's still not great. All right. Block, get a land, drop to 11. Yeah, we just got stuck on lands way too long. And now we're paying the price. We do draw a land. All right. Well, this, this might give us a shot. So we can one, two, three... Play a tireless tracker. Play a forest. Get a clue. Then we can Eldritch Evolution Primal Druid. Get a land. Get a clue. And search out, I guess, just Gisela. And pass the turn. So if they can't just kill our Gisela, we're kind of in the game to some extent. And if they negative a million Chandra, that's not just deadly. Ugh. Now we're very, very much dead. All right. Well, that was a very unfortunate draw. I don't think this is even a bad matchup. I think that was just a very bad draw. So since our opponent's on the Chandra plan, I think we bring in a Quarantine Field over a Tragic Arrogance, and then a Pulse of Marasa over Tragic Arrogance, and try it like that. I think as long as we're not getting mana screwed, I think we have a decent shot. All right, budget magic time. And we get lands this time, which is good. I'm down for lands. All right, let's just Forest Goo gonna hold the evolving wilds in case we draw a tireless tracker all right now now we have the opposite problem now we are <laughs> we are land flooded pass the turn opponent passes well canopy vista and uvenwald mysteries pass the turn at least this way if our creatures die we get a clue out of them our hand is really bad, though. We need to start getting clues. A tireless tracker would be an insane draw here. Opponent passes. Well, Thraven Inspector is not horrible. 
at least that's a clue that we can sack and hopefully start generating some value. Also gets us a 1-1. One, one. So pass turn. Opponent fiery impulses. That's fine. We get another clue out of the deal. Opponent has a mountain. There's a thought knot. <laughs> well, it's a good time to have no cards in hand. No real cards. So let's sack a clue. Get a 1-1. One, one. Ooh, there's tireless tracker too. Well, tireless tracker... Evolving Wilds, get a clue. Sack Evolving Wilds, get a Plains, get a clue, and pass the turn. Well, our machine is up and running now. Opponent goes with Collective Defiance on our Tireless Tracker. We get a clue. Alright, well, we are going to block with our Primal Do Druid. Get a clue. Get a land. Grab a Forest this time. Well, let's play a Plains. Play Bloodbriar. Crack a clue. And get in for one. Just wanted to get this out of range of typical removal. I guess Collective Defiance could hit it, but Collective Defiance is a sorcery, so it's not super scary. Ruins of Orn Reef for our opponent. Well, this Bloodbriar is going to get super huge. Too big for our opponent to deal with, most likely. Opponent goes attacking. Well, let's just chump with one of our humans. We have so many human tokens. Opponent plays a Mattery Shaper. Sure. Let's crack a clue, get a human. Get another counter on our Bloodbriar. Get a land. Um, well, let's play Evolving Wilds. Attack with our Bloodbriar. Play Sigarda. Pass the turn. So I feel like we're in pretty good shape here. Reality Smasher. Okay. I mean, that's something that we can't just easily block. Opponent swings with everything? Well, let's block Thought Knot, block Matter Reshaper, take five. Opponent might be able to kill our Sigarda here. Alright, kills our Sigarda. That's fine. We still get rid of Thought Knot. We take five, draw a card. Let's crack Evolving Wilds in response. Get another counter. Get a planes, doesn't really matter. Get a clue. Draw, ooh, tireless tracker. Well, let's sack a clue. Yeah, we're kind of close to being able to win here. But I don't, ooh, tragic arrogance. Does tragic arrogance do it? Six, seven, eight. One, two, nine, ten. Can we get the combo kill? We can sack two clues, so it goes up to eight power. Then we would another tireless tracker. So sack two clues, eight power. Gets us two more soldiers. And I think we just wait. Let's just go tireless tracker, tireless tracker, play land, get two more clues. And I think we, yeah, we'll still attack. Well, there's some risk of Chandra. Let's not attack. Because I think we just get the combo kill next turn. So we don't want to risk losing to a random Chandra or something when next turn we're almost guaranteed to win. Opponent has a thought not. Ugh, all right. Well, tragic arrogance means we're not just guaranteed to win. Although, I think we're still heavily favored thanks to Double Tireless Tracker. They do take Tragic Arrogance. But we're just going to be able to grow our stuff to smash right past Eldrazi. Like, Reality Smasher isn't even that scary at the moment. Because our stuff is going to be so big. And we get a million 1-1s for chumping. Every time we sack a clue. 
and we could still draw and do a Tragic Arrogance or another removal spell. Opponent goes attacking. Let's block and, well, I don't want to lose our Blood Briar. Let's take five. Drop to seven. Now there's a pretty good chance we just win on the backswing. Sack a clue, pumps all of our stuff, gets us a 1-1. One, one. Sacking clues is so good in this deck. And we get to draw a card. Duskwatch. There's a Valving Wilds. Well, let's sack a clue, pump everything up. Sack a clue, pump everything up. Swing with our stuff. Opponent blocks. Well, Zack a clue. I think we just win from these huge tireless trackers. That's 14 damage. That's 16 damage. And that should do it. And our opponent scoops it up. Sweet. Um... Eldrazi, Eldrazi, Eldrazi. Maybe taking out Tragic Arrogance was ambitious. Planner Outburst also just seems good. Maybe we keep... Hmm. Yeah, let's keep it. We don't really have great... Well, we have Stasis Snare. Stasis Snare also seems good. What do we go down is the big question. I guess we can go down Hedron Archive. Maybe we go down the Paltz Marasa too. Let's just try it like that. Um, all right. Looks a little bit like our first hand, but I think it's okay. Mountain for our opponent and passes. We do. We are in the position where we're going to need to draw lands again, though. Oh, there's a land. So Tranquil Expanse, go. Now this actually doesn't look too bad. Eldritch Evolution should be sweet. And we're drawing lands like crazy, so I think we just lead on Primal Druid. Pass the turn. Another land for our opponent. Do they have a Matter Reshaper? Opponent passes. Now let's Thraben Inspector, get a clue, play a Forest, and pass the turn. See if our opponent has Thought Knot. Yup. Yeah, that's fine. I don't even know what they take. They might have to take Eldritch Evolution, but that leaves us with a Stasis Snare. They do take Eldritch Evolution. Well, sack our clue, get a Plains. Let's just play a planes and pass the turn. Leave up the ability to stasis snare this thought knot, or potentially a reality smasher if our opponent draws into that. All right, tap land for our opponent. Goes to combat. Well, let's cash in this primal druid. I kind of actually want to get a land here. We'll get a planes. All right, let's just stasis snare, get rid of the thought knot, draw a card, another evolving wilds. You well, let's get in with Thraben Inspector, play a Duskwatch Recruiter, play a. Blood Bray, uh, Blood Briar, play an Evolving Wilds, pass the turn. So our opponent might be on the Chandra plan, but they're going to have to negative four and kill Chandra if they want to Wrath. And then we can Thalia's Lancers, get back a, or search up a Bruna. Collective Defiance on our Blood Briar. It is four damage, right? Yeah. All right. Well, Blood Briar down. Are they going to kill Duskwatch here as well? They do. All right, that shuts down our card advantage for now. So let's sack Evolving Wilds. Get in with Thraben Inspector. Thalia's Lancers, search up a, I think we just get Bruna. Play a Blighted Woodlands, pass the turn. So now we can just like Bruna reanimate Duskwatch, I guess, for the card advantage. Opponent has Handweir Battlements. 
and Reality Smasher. All right. They even get to pump it up. Sure. They're still going to have to deal with our Bruna over the long haul. So opponent gets in for six. Down to 14. Well, we slam a Bruna. Get back a Dusk Watch. Play Evolving Wilds. Get in with Thraben Inspector. And pass turn. See what our opponent has. By leaving back our stuff, it gives us the option to double block with Duskwatch and Thalia's Lancers on the Reality Smasher if somehow our opponent is like splashing Declaration in Stone or something off of their white mana. So it's a, just a hedge, essentially. Also helps us if our opponent has another Reality Smasher, which would potentially be scary. We're at a fairly low life total. I mean, not literally, but when you consider that our opponent could have two 6-6 six, six haste tramples if they have another reality smasher, our life total is not that safe. Taking that hit would put us very low to the point where we could get burnt out by Collective Defiance or something like that. Good news is, if our Dusk Watch lives, we're going to be able to start generating some card advantage, finding some creatures, theoretically. Aldrazi Obligator, going to steal our Bruna. Okay. Interesting. Well, I'm glad I left our stuff back, or we would be in real trouble. Pumps it up. Well, the scary part is we are getting down into burn range, and there's not much we can do about it. So we kill Obligator take a huge hit down to three, which is not the life total we want to be at, get a forest. We can hit our opponent for 12, but that doesn't really do it. Let's activate Duskwatch. I guess we take Tireless Tracker. Play Tireless Tracker. Play Thraben Inspector. Get a clue. Play a forest, get another clue. Get in with Bruna and hope we don't die to a burn spell. I'm expecting that's what happens though. And our opponent has the burn spell. Uh, well, I guess maybe it would be more correct just to throw the Dusk Watch away. Feels bad though, feels real bad. Or maybe we attacked even too aggressively even though we left back all of our stuff. Maybe we should have left back the Thraben Inspector as well. Hmm.